Hi guys. I wanted to get on here and we'll do a quick um, video for, um, <clears throat> oh darn it. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to open up to make sure this is clear. Before I get started, I gotta make sure It's not doing it. Okay. All right. Hopefully that'll let me in. All right, so I had a quick video I wanted to do for, um, it's going to be 4th of July related again, but it's just a short one since today is um, my holiday. Um, and so I wanted to show you, it's just a quick strawberry using the Sweet Strawberry stamp set and um, punch that goes along with it. Um, it is just, I love this particular um, this particular stamp set. It has such a nice, sweet nature to it. And I decided to do a 4th of July theme. I saw a friend do a 4th of July theme with it, and I thought that was kind of a fun idea. So uh, last Friday, where did I put the card? Oh, you know what? I got rid of the card. I Last Friday, I did the card with the stripes. So this time, I changed it up to do a little something with just a plain card, a very basic card. So uh, I have, I've got rid of it, but last Friday I used stripe, uh, strips of paper about this big and made kind of like a tic-tac-toe kind of thing and then added my strawberry down at the bottom. So <clears throat> this is a very, very basic card. Quick, quick and simple. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just taking our basic layer but I think just the non-traditional layer, a uh, non-traditional um, colors sometimes are enough to change it up um, so that you have something fun without getting too crazy in your design. Okay, so let me put this on my, this is a standard card base, four and a quarter by five and a half, and this is, um, four inches by five and a quarter of, of real red. <clears throat> and then we're going to stamp my top piece. Now the cool thing about stamping my top piece, <clears throat> excuse me, is we're going to be, um, we're going to be doing a, um, we're going to take the punch layer to try and create like a template so that when we punch it out, we don't have to um, start all over again. So I last time I did this, I tried doing it with white on white, but it was too hard to see the outline. So instead, it's better to take, so you punch this out, just a generic piece, and I'm gonna save this as my template and put it back inside my stamp set. I'm gonna affix this to my piece of white with just a little sticky note. And this sticky note, is you know just to hold my template in place and then I'm gonna take my <clears throat> real red cuz I oh was the black open all this time I think it might have been open Darn. okay um, good thing I ordered a, a refill um, an ink refill for my native Navy cuz I think it's been open all weekend I didn't make sure it had snapped. It's good to always make sure it snaps all the way closed, and I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp. <clears throat> These are called distinctive stamps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stamp, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna stamp your basic outline. You're gonna stamp it in full strength. And because I'm using that template underneath, <clears throat> now I can punch it out without having to uh, waste any paper 
Okay, and then where's my red? Okay, here's my other red. So they're distinctive because you have one stamp that'll make the outline. Then they give you another stamp. It's a two-step stamp that's very textured. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's very textured so that when you ink it up, it'll show, oops, my little piece moved. Let me ink up my stamp again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think a little, I've been dusting and I think it was a little too much. So let me hold this down. Where's my, there we go. And it's just, you know, I could use tape as well, but I just wanted to use something simple I could reposition as well. All right, and so this red strawberry, <sighs> I had let it sit out for a little bit, so I wanna make sure that I can get it just inside. There we go, and you see it colors in the strawberry, and I didn't have to do any stamping off or anything like that. So now we're gonna do the Knight of Navy for the stem. So here's the outline of my stem. All right, and I'm gonna stamp that straight down. See, I think I'm a little off. It's kind of hard to do it. There we go. Yeah, I got it just in. It's kind of hard to do it upside down like this. The, in order to do it so you could see, <clears throat> I have to move it pretty far away from the camera. And what I'm gonna do here is, and because of the fact that the Knight of Navy is so dark, I'm gonna stamp it off. You see, that's a pretty dark stem. But when I stamp it a second time, it still gives the Knight of Navy, but it's very, very light. And I would rather have this as the coloring instead of the super dark. Now with the red, it was perfect, but with the Knight of Navy, it's almost black. Knight of Navy is almost a black navy. So I'm gonna stamp that off, and then I'm gonna use it to fill in my, my little stem. Okay, and so let me, and when you close your stamp ink pads, make sure it fully, I, it was just like this. You see there's that slight pop it's, it was slightly popped open. I had not popped it all the way closed and I'm pretty sure it was like that the whole weekend. So I'm probably gonna need to add some ink cause it'll probably dry it, dry it out a little. So I've got my little strawberry and the cool thing about using that template is now I can slide it. Even though I use two different colors of ink, I can slide it right into my punch and pop it out. Now I'm wasting this little bit of extra um, paper here. You know, I could have actually trimmed it even smaller so I didn't have the extra paper, but I didn't. So we'll just go with this. Oh, and there goes my stem. It flew all the way across. Pardon me. So there we go. And I just set that aside and use that scrap for something else. And I'm gonna go ahead and place my stem on top of my strawberry with just a tiny bit of glue, just a little bit. Okay, nothing too crazy. And I just thought American, Americana and strawberries were kinda nice, so I got the idea from a friend and I thought I'd continue that here. So, oh, wait a minute. I just realized I used the wrong piece of paper. This was supposed to be my front of my card. Whoopsie. It's cause I'm on vacation. <laughs> I had the several days off. So my the front of my card is going to be three and three quarters by five inches. Okay, because I went down several layers. I had my base layer, then my red layer, and then I have this layer. And so 
I needed to make it a little, oops, I'm sorry about that. I needed to make it a little bit smaller and you see I had it perfectly, I was so focused on getting that little punch <laughs> that I forgot. So, all right, so there we go. Move that aside. Here's my scraps, put those aside. I'm gonna put this template actually inside of my case. And that way, the next time I go to stamp out of this particular um, stamp set, I have the template ready and handy. Okay, so now to get our, um, our background here, I need the Knight of Navy. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use the um, flower, the large flowers. I just, I'd like to stamp things that are a little non-traditional because, you know, we all know that strawberries are good with red and green, but I thought it was kind of fun to have something that was non-traditional using blue. Because why not? Why not an Americana card using strawberries and blue? This might be a little bit too low. I might need to, yeah, it's a little too low. So let me flip it over. I need to put it a little bit higher because I need my strawberry to sit about here. See, and when I put the strawberry about there, I'm covering up all of the flower. So I was a little too low. So it's okay. That's what the back side of the paper was for. We'll move it up. Oh, kitty, kitty. Baba, hey, Baba. Go, go, go. Hopefully it's not too low again. Go, Baba. No, no. Baba, get down. <sighs> Good times. All right, so I wanted to stamp that before he went. Okay, good. I didn't lose everything. All right, it's not really in the greatest place, but it's in a better place than it was before. Okay, and then I'm also going to stamp hello there at the top. And I didn't want to add any extra layer for this. I just wanted it straight as it was. Let me get it just right. Hopefully it's straight. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Cat threw me off. So it's a real simple card. Nothing too crazy. Um, but I thought, let's do something easy for my holiday. I'm actually cleaning my apartment. I was putting a new layer on my window, like a plastic layer to seal off the heat a little bit. And it's like a plastic layer you can get from duct tape, the company of duct tape. And, um, and so I was doing that before. That's why I actually don't have my cute ears on. <laughs> so actually, so here's our Minnie Mouse for today because I, I don't have my cute Minnie ears on. We'll put her down um, so that at least you get some mini ears <laughs> because I'm a hot mess express. And so I was not going to show off my sweaty grossness. So we're going to go ahead and put a layer of, um, sorry, the video is so crooked because the cat just went nuts. He got a little jealous that I was doing a video so it's always when I do a video that the cat wanna jump up on the table it's never I was sitting here for 20 minutes before you know well like 15 20 minutes before the video started but no nope. <clears throat> they wanted to get up here now all right so we'll go ahead and we'll put that right there see it makes a nice fun little and then I had and by the way, this little Minnie Mouse is called a Nuomi. And they're these adorable little <clears throat> um, posable. See, it's posable. And she'll sit. She sits next to my desk here. And she's in her little Tinkerbell outfit. It's a cute little backpack. And so she's in this cute little Tinkerbell outfit. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So when um, you um, can change her outfits all the time. And so I thought she was the perfect little mascot on my desk 
for my um, for my stamping. Let me move my ink over so that I don't get her ink on her. Um, all right, so the other thing I wanted to add were just these little rhinestones, the red real red rhinestones. which are still available. Okay. There we go. Very simple. You know, cards can be really pretty without being too complex. And I thought this would be a fun take on an Americana card. It's not a 4th of July card, but it's still a very fun card. If you know somebody that likes red, white, and blue, this would be a fun card to send. Um, to them. It's fun in spring. Let me get the light on it a little brighter. Let me move the light down a little so you can see. I mean, it real red is super pretty. It has a really nice uh, real red in that dark navy. It gives such a nice color. And so, um, as you can see, it just has a really nice effect. And so, um, not cards don't always have to be traditional. And I think that's Probably one of my favorite things to do is to do non-traditional cards, and that's and that's me. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. Remember, if you comment and share any of my videos, I um, if you comment and share any of my videos, I will put you in for a drawing for, um, for the items that I make in the video. And since we were, it was a holiday, I thought, let's make our video short and sweet. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Sorry for the cat catastrophe. <laughs> so, um, all right. Thanks so much. Have a great day.